Kia ora Year 13, this is the first video I'm going to make looking at harder trig equations and if you're in my class this year, this uses a worksheet from Mr Vaughan that's up on the website called something like extension equations and this is question um, 2a in that, so there are already worked solutions there but um, hearing why I've done it might help. If you're not in my class this year and you're just watching that's fine too and I'll go right through it. So first of all um, this is going to turn out to be a quadratic equation and you need to do a fair bit of practice first from Delta chapter 706 to get the hang of the easier ones. When you look at this equation you see a cos squared theta here and there's a cos theta here. There's no constant term and we've got this painful sine theta. So we want to think about a way to get rid of the sine and get everything to be factors, something that's going to factorise with cos theta. And the, the thing we use all the time in these problems is this. Our first Pythagoras identity which was sine squared of x plus cos squared of x equals 1. Often doing a substitution with that one is going to help. So in this case instead of putting sine squared theta we're going to replace it with 1 minus cos squared theta. And that won't always work, but it's a good thing to try here. So substituting that in, we get 4 cos squared theta minus 2 times 1 minus cos squared theta, just be careful with your brackets, minus cos of theta equals 0. Now we expand that out. And you should be starting to see that it is going to fall out into a nice quadratic. So we've lost the sine term and we've got a constant in there, which is also good for an easy quadratic. So let's see. Well, I've got 6 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2 equals 0. So I'm going to start a new slide to keep going. Now when you're first getting used to these, you might find it a bit hard to visualise your factorising with the cos of theta. So if that's the case, we just say let x equal cos theta. You won't have to do that for too long. But that lets you see that we're working with 6x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, so now I'm going to try and factorise that, and I'm going to do it just by inspection. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 2, and I need to have this coefficient be 6. So let's try this, 3x here and 2x here. What's going to work? Well, what if I do a 1 here and a 2 here? Well, that's not going to be any good. That's going to give me something to do with 4. So get rid of that and switch it around. So try a 2 here and a 1 here. Well I need to have take away x so that's going to give me minus 4x there plus 3x that looks pretty good. Expanding it out to check I get 6x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 2. So that's all good and now we're going to write it back in with cos of theta. So we get 3 cos theta minus 2 times 2 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. So we've done all of the hard work now. What we've got to do now to solve this equation is what we do right back when we first do quadratics. So either 3 cos theta minus 2 equals 0 or 2 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. So if I were doing this on a piece of paper, I would work the general solution down here for this equation and the general solution down here. But that's going to get a bit messy with the way this video works. So I'm going to do each equation separately and then put them back together at the end. Right, so the first factor is 3 cos theta minus 2 equals 0. So very quickly, because general solutions should be pretty easy now, 3 cos theta equals 2. We're solving cos theta equals two thirds. So I'm looking for, first of all, to get alpha is equal to the angle whose cosine is two thirds. So that equals 
to 3dp. My general solution is then this thing inside here, so theta, is equal to 2n pi plus or minus 0 0.841. So no adjusting necessary after that because I've just got cos of theta in here. Now let's look at the other one. Actually I can fit it onto the same screen so we'll do it that way. So 2 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. Um, 2 cos theta equals negative 1. Cos of theta equals negative 1 half. So thinking about special triangles and so on, I'm going to get that alpha, my principal value, is the angle whose cosine is negative 1 half, which is 2 pi on 3. But I know that some of you will be doing it on your calculator, and you weren't asked for exact values. So you can get away with 2.094 to 3dp. So that gives me the general solution here of theta is equal to 2n pi plus or minus, I'm going to write it as 2 pi on 3. Okay, so what that means for that equation overall is that I've got two groups of general solutions. Okay, and so the method again was to make that equation a quadratic, factorise it as usual, and then solve for when each of those factors equals zero. Just remember with your general solutions that n is an integer value here. Okay, so that's it. Um, probably well worth working through that one a couple of times until you can see why we start with using Pythagoras. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry this was a bit long.